예, 우리 순서대로 이제 9시니, 9시 됐죠? 네, 네 오늘, 네. 일단 오전은, 네. 또 부산대 팀이. 네, 그러니까 부산대에서 좀, 음, 또, 뒤에 네. 시작을 두 분이서. 네. 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 아, Good morning. Um, I would like to say very short opening remarks. Dear guests and professors, scientists, colleagues, and film crew, and friends. Welcome to Mongolia, welcome to my university. It's great honor to host this Mongolian Korea joint meeting on wetlands and water birds. I'm a senior researcher, even the COVID difficult time. We are very thank to colleagues from Korea, including uh, Mr. Uh, Noin Day and Kim Dokson, they are very my old friends, and Professor Ju Ji Jae, we know each other for a few years, and Professor Park Hee Chung, and other friends for your visit to Mongolia, uh, and they agreed to be here together. This joint meeting of the Korean Mongolian bird scientists was organized very few times in Lombard, Mongolia. This is the one of the joint meetings. What well, would say very rare, uh, only few such joint meetings for Mongolian and Korean uh, bird researchers. That's why we're, we are very happy. We hope we will have some achievements and conclusive idea and decisions during and after the meeting. Uh, after the meeting, we will continue to, to discuss about the future collaborations. We hope that you will enjoy the informative meeting. I don't know, we will try to be very interesting or informative. And field trips in coming days in Mongolia. We, will not, we would like to express my gratitude to not only Korean colleagues, but also the Mongolian colleagues here uh, to organize the meeting. Thank you for all of you. Please uh, let me introduce participants of the meeting. Uh, there are three different teams from Korea. Got uh, some investigation team. Uh, please apologize, my yes. wrong spelling pronunciation for your names and place names in, in Korea. So, our uh, Gosung team, uh, Che Su Chong. Okay, nice to meet you. Mo In Day, my old friend. Rodi In Day. Kim Dok Sang, my old friend. And uh, Kwok Sung Kook, how you are. Zi Chang Hyu, nice to meet you. And Pusang and Pambuk University team, Professor Ju Ji Chai, Professor Park Ki Chong, very nice to meet you. Chang Yong Park, and Yirung Lee, thank you. And another team, third team, is film team. Uh, Yoon Jung Il. Uh, okay. uh, Lee Kim Fang. Lee Jae Gu. Uh, from Mongolia side, the doctor of Usikjar Gal Dorj, National University of Mongolia. Hostel Rural National Park. The team two will visit Hostel Rural National Park with him together. And Dr. Nassan Jarnal, uh, we call Nasa, uh, State University of Life Science, I think, uh, uh, 
and Wright. They monkeyed from Johnson, National University of Mongolia. And Sonsonbal Dr. Wang, head of the Department of Natural History Museum, and also the, one of the doctorate students. Uh, Dawa Surin, uh, vice director of the Mongolian Monthly Society. And Ichung Horba, the graduate student of the uh, National University of Mongolia works Nature Conservation Freshwater Center in Ulaanbaatar. And uh, is there any about that mark? Okay. They call, uh, Ms. Holland? Okay. The organizing committee all in the, in the outside. So those are the the all members of uh, of the meeting. I mean the participants of the meeting. Thank you very much. Can I turn it on? Oh, yes, yes, please. Oh, yeah. Just let me know. Oh, you stop and, uh, and I need to translate. Please. 자, 처음부터 충실에 못, 들어, 못 들어가지고요. 통역을 하라 말을 미리 좀. 일단 그 몽골대학교하고 이 몽골 오신 걸 환영한다는 말씀을 해주셨고요. 그리고 이렇게 처음으로 또 아침에 저는 아니고 올해 친구들과 같이 공동 목숨을 또 하게 되어서 기쁘다고 말씀해 주셨습니다. 그리고 이제 그 오늘 목숨과 그 다음에 내일 필드 투어를 같이 하게 될 거고 그리고 그 끝나고 난 뒤에는 공동으로 할수 있는 미래 협력 방안에서도 같이 얘기할 거라고 말씀을 해 주셨습니다. 나머지 부분에 저희들 아셨다시피 쭉 소개를 해 주셨습니다. 제가 좀 이름을 정확히 못 적어서 근데 자연산 박물관 그다음에 몽골대학교 자연산 박물관 그다음에 야생동물 협회 관련된 분들이 다 오셨다고 합니다. 그래서 나중에 따로 인사들 좀 나누시면 좋겠습니다. 감사합니다. 네. 네. 간단하게. I should play a translation of some of your. Okay, just please just let me know because. Some of colleagues don't understand English, so my English not not really good. So <laughs> that's yes, um, let's uh, move to agenda. According to the uh, program, we're going to start part one. Part one is all about wetlands, water birds topics. So let's. Uh, move to the um, presentation session. Part 1에는 주로 이제 습지에 좀 집중돼 있는 것이라고 발표를 하시거든요. 그러니까 발표 나오시면 내용 좀 보시고 예, 한번 보시고 예, 이해하시면 될것 같습니다. Uh, I haven't got uh, the presentation from uh, the Gossam colleagues yet. Because we need to copy our files into okay. the I, I just read shortly. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. Um, so, um, the first, I would like to invite the first presenter from Korea. Uh, the Professor Chu mm -hmm. uh, from Busan National University. His talk will cover protection and management of the knowledge of birds and habitats at Nakdong River Estuary, South Korea. So, um, so please, uh, please uh, I'm going to probably introduce Professor Park may uh, comment on crane issue. And uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Park will also uh, give us uh, some of his uh, study within the scope of my work. 제가 이제 낙동강 중심으로 얘기를 하는데 하구 중심으로 얘기를 하고 그렇게 제도름이하고 그 내용은 박일진 교수님이 한 7분 또 박창원 선생님이 한 7분 이렇게 섞어서 할 겁니다. 자. Uh, Upyoga stamp is uh, from Mongolia, Mongolian stamp uh, on Upas one. Kungoni, yeah, Mongol Upyoga. 
uh, we uh, we are in the uh, in the East Asian Australasian flyway, uh, one of nine flyway in, in in the world, and uh, Naktong River uh, is in the middle of this flyway, and uh, uh, East Asian Australasian flyway partnership in China is in there. Uh, 19 countries uh, with uh, uh, many sites registered. Now Mongolia 11 and Korea 17 sites join in, in, in this flyway network. Maybe. Uh, and then, this is South Korea. We are from uh, Osan, Busan and uh, Paju, <laughs> Mr. No coming from all the way close to North Korea. And uh, uh, this is the Naktong River Basin. Uh, this is the overview of uh, uh, migratory bird uh, habitat in Korea. Western coast uh, dominate, but still uh, we have uh, very important site in the southeastern part of Korea. And uh, uh, 1999, uh, 1999 uh, 69 study, nine site, uh, we studied uh, uh, simultaneous census, Dongxi census. And then now, uh, now we have uh, over 200 sites. Twice a year, we survey. 1년에 두번 조사를 하고 있습니다. 여기에 그 전국 네트워크에서 이렇게 상당한 데이터들이 모이고 있습니다. 자 그런데 next uh, this is the Nakdong River Basin, Nakdong uh, Basin, and this heavily modified due to the four large river project and the river channel expanded and then uh, depth deep uh, now 13 meters. All this channel has been changed from all the way 300 kilometer to all the way to estuary. 한 300km 구간이 다 바뀌었습니다. 자 그러는 와중에 in the middle of uh, Nakdong River Basin, uh, Mr. Park will uh, explain more about importance of uh, uh, small remaining habitat. 남아 있는 석지가 대단히 중요한데 이 지상이 이, this was a former oxbow lake 어, 우박고였는데 이렇게 이런 여기 이제 사대강 전의 사진인데 여기하고 여기를 왔다 갔다 하는데 여기 굉장히 많은 어, 그 본인들이 이용을 합니다. Uh, we lost we lost the important habitat due to the urbanization river channel modification and also uh, other human uh, uh, disturbance. 그러니까 사람이 매개가 돼서 너무나 많은 서식처가 파괴가 된 상태이기 때문에 남아 있는 석지가 중요하다. Remaining wetlands are very important in Korea. Uh, 그래서 이제 uh, uh, 박이천 Professor Park will explain more about this crane. Uh, we lost the sandbar within the river channel, and then. Uh, stop oversight within the channel uh, they cannot really stop over they go to Izumi, Japan sometime to Suncheon uh, Professor Park will explain more about the situation now for example uh, I think Professor Gongbo, you went to Upo? yes, you, you've been to Upo uh, this is one of the remaining big uh, inland wetland, Upo, and then uh, this is a 1918, uh, 1963, and 78, 86, all disappeared. Remaining, this is Upo. So we lost 99% of wetland by number. 수로는 한 99% 다 잃어버리고, only small remaining wetlands are protected. Uh, this is due to the agricultural expansion. Okay, and now another site in Nakdong River, we have a plenty of uh, wetland, Haman the Haman, Haman County, and uh, 
1918, first map, and then we lost. Now we have only few left for, this is due to the residential area and industrial complex. 그 공장이 여기에 또 개입을 하게 됩니다. 공장, industry. So agriculture globally same, and then industry, and then residential area, uh, and then uh, let's go to the Nakdong River estuary. This is a, a estuary, 하구입니다. 여기가 한 1,700년 전에 이렇게 바다였던 게. 델타가 만들어지고 계속 섬이 만들어지고 있습니다. Uh, this is my hometown. And then uh, this is the estuary. You see a lot of uh, uh, new buildings. Uh, uh, we lost the tidal flat. And then we heavily modified this island. Uh, 법적으로 uh, 문화재 natural monument uh, legally they are protected Na national uh, monument area and then uh, uh, coastal pollution management Yunnan Oyum, natural environment conservation area and then the uh, the most important part is a uh, uh, wetland uh, ecosystem conservation area these are all protected but we lost all this area due to the uh, development. 그러니까 this is uh, maybe uh, 10 times bigger than the university here. So we lost the uh, important habitat here. 그리고 이게 이제 섬이 이렇게 있고 어 그런데 어 we've been doing monitoring of migratory bird that's okay but uh, we do, we cannot really uh, go further protection because we do not know where they are migrating for example from Korea to all the way to Mongolia and maybe stop over in China. We, we, we have a very limited information. 굉장히 어제 저녁에 우리 이야기한 대로 굉장히 제한된 정보를 갖고 있어서 이 문제는 양국의 공동의 문제입니다. Mongolian maybe should understand their bird visit Korea all the way. Korean they don't understand where they are moving. So we need to Break, uh, to understand the migration route. Uh, Nakdong River estuary still maintain uh, important biodiversity, important bird species, uh, Upper Swan. Definitely this species uh, from Mongolia. Okay. And also some, uh, some uh, cranes, and I'm sure uh, uh, Professor Park will introduce more about this. And then, uh, uh, we, I listed here, but the most important uh, uh, way the small, small migratory bird around here, and also some big ones are here, they are depends on food plant. Uh, is that we are losing many uh, uh, important birds due to the change of environment. And uh, we counted the downstream and estuary. Uh, the numbers are increasing, but definitely this is not the big picture. Overall picture is uh, uh, we are losing uh, some of the uh, species here. And uh, my students, uh, five or six, uh, doctors and uh, maybe three or four master uh, did a study on this estuary and their finding is uh, uh, salinity has uh, some important relationship with uh, this food plant. This food plant are uh, directly linked with the number of uh, uh, upper swan. So uh, we did a long-term study 
and then uh, we we analyze uh, uh, what are we uh, losing here. 사실 매장이 변하고 있는데 이게 한두의 볼 문제가 아니고 큰 빅픽처가 감소, 감소, decrease and decrease. So, so we are trying to get a big picture. Uh, Mr. Kwak uh, is very familiar with the Hapo and uh, uh, Junam near nearby to estuary. Apparently, Upo Swan they move uh, Upo Junam uh, Nakdong estuary according to their habitat. I mean, they use this, this area as this one single uh, habitat. So. Uh, one of my students did a study comparing Japan and Korea. They come here and then they disappear. But Japan, uh, Swan goes back to Siberia or Mongolia. But the food plant, uh, they have a sustainable food plant. Now in, in Busan, uh, Nakdong Estuary, we provide a potato. Uh, uh, we provide the uh, uh, sweet potato. So we are entertaining uh, bird coming from Mongolia with a potato. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very unfortunate. Uh, and then uh, the numbers are increasing, but overall uh, we have a lot of uh, problem here. And it is uh, due to the change of uh, uh, wetland here. Well, uh, residential, industrial, 그러니까 주거단지, 공장, 250만 평. 여기 49만 평. So, and also we lost the tidal flat here. So, we lost this uh, uh, seagrass bed. Uh, 2000년대 초에, 얼숙도, uh, I was involved in basic planning stage of this island. Maybe this is the campus size of uh, 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 Mongolian University here. And then uh, uh, we use this uh, dumping, the human waste, human fecal waste. We, uh, we, we dry and then we use it as fertilizer. <laughs> this is similar to Jamaica Bay in New York. Every coastal area, uh, important wetland was uh, like a wasteland. They put it in town, they put it in town, they put it in town, and they put it in town, and they put it in town. So, they put it in town, and they put it in town, and they put it in town. Now we are in uh, uh, core habitat, Papa, Wanchung, and Yongguyo. Uh, 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 and then, uh, city managed this area very well, but still we make a lot of stupid things here. Uh, this same island, uh, due to the four large river project, they made uh, this pond, but this pond all uh, uh, invaded by aquatic plants. This is a mistake, many mistakes. I published one paper on uh, mistake main made lesson learned. 그러니까 실수로부터 얻는 교훈이라는 논문을 따로 썼습니다. 계속 반복되는 uh, we repeat the same mistake again and again. Uh, this was a poorly designed water quality problem. Uh, here for example, they made the pond and then all the way they uh, disappeared. <laughs> wrong wrong <laughs> restoration. Uh, what I call stupid restoration. 예, 그 굉장히 실수를 많이 했다. 예, 그리고 지금 이제 또 여기에 에코델타 시티 360만 명. Uh, they are building new city. Uh, about 70,000 people will live in this area. And then uh, they do not know the nature of this uh, abandoned fish farm, uh, aquaculture facility. So I push it. We need to understand. Uh, the system first. Here's uh, again, they have, during the construction of this uh, new city, they made the uh, uh, 
some pond to absorb uh, uh, rainwater, but very poorly designed. So already aquatic plants are coming. So in five years, this will be full of aquatic plants. 친구네 이제 자라서 못 쓰게 됩니다. 그걸 뻔히 알고 이런 이런 실수를 하거든요. 그래서 어, 우리가 잠깐 여기서 우리 박 교수님 잠깐 그 아까 두루미 말씀 조금 해주실래요? 그럼 또 통역하시면 되지 않습니까? 교수님 어제 저하고 어, 약간 네. Uh, Professor Park will explain about uh, uh, this uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he will continue after my presentation and then uh, uh, the, my project basically uh, uh, focus on maybe 70 60 percent on estuary and then about 30 percent or 40 percent I go uh, Naktong River Basin because this study was uh, sponsored by Korean Water Resources Corporation. 한국 수장공사가 sponsored 해서 하기 때문에 하구의 초점이 맞춰져 있습니다. 한 70 percent 정도. 그래서 필드 어떤 새가 오고 하는 건 이미 많이 조사돼 있지만 다시 한번 조사를 하고 그 다음에 uh, conservation strategy uh, 찾아내고 그 다음에 uh, uh, 몽고로 가는 새하고 어떻게 이제 uh, 몽고의 서식처에 대한 관심을 집중시키는 게 저희들 과제라고 할수 있습니다. 그래서 uh, uh, I'm going to uh, host the international meeting in November. Maybe that timing is uh, uh, Gosong uh, uh, virtual uh, week. We are going to synchronize. Uh, first day, maybe uh, my university will have a meeting and then uh, some of the participants will go to Gosong. Now, uh, important bird I need to identify which bird are migrating to Siberia and Mongolia and then I need to know breeding uh, place in Mongolia and then we can uh, come up with uh, some management plan uh, if possible we can identify uh, what to do for next three years the funding establishment of uh, international network symposium and then we're going to continue work on this uh, uh, survey this is our estuary survey site uh, we do have an intensive uh, survey during the winter we also do some summer migration studies and then uh, Professor Park and uh, his group uh, concentrate on upper part of uh, uh, Naktong River Basin, uh, Upo, Junam, Andong Reservoir, multi-purpose dam, and uh, Naktong River, and Chisan. This is all connected, all the Lake. And also, we are uh, uh, we have some budget to study migration of uh, bird to. Uh, what we call Mongol, yeah, Russia, and maybe the most important site is Mon Mongolia. We are not really uh, 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 work on New Zealand or uh, Australia. And uh, uh, we are going to also do GPS work. Uh, so the future direction is uh, we're going to come up with some database. I'm going to analyze what we have in, in Mongolia, what, what kind of study has been conducted in Mongolia, and then uh, I'm going to make uh, a decision after consulting with our Mongolian friends, colleagues, 
and also uh, uh, we need to understand what we have here in Nakhong Estuary. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, so <laughs> this is first time to visit Mongolia and uh, Mr. No uh, kindly uh, assisted uh, this trip. And, uh, but I'm not familiar with the here, and maybe <clears throat> I have to come back several times. Yeah. Uh, I need to get permission from my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too many trips. Uh, and then, uh, <clears throat> uh, identification of important habitat of uh, Anatide in Mongolia, South Korea, and also uh, possible improvement of uh, uh, habitat and capacity building or uh, joint work and uh, promotion of uh, public awareness. 그러니까 에, 기본적으로 뭐 여러 분 말씀드렸습니다만 어, 이게 딱 부러지게 뭘 해야 된다는 거는 100% 정해진 건 아니고요. 그냥 열심히 해서 과제를 성의껏 마치는 게 중요하고 성과가 있으면 됩니다. 그래서 I will do my best uh, to achieve the original goal, but uh, uh, you know, it, but the, the past can change. Uh, 그래서 uh, uh, 부산대 uh, 모, uh, 몽고 경북대 uh, 부산 인스티튜트 고성군 uh, 합포천 all uh, we will be uh, one team to achieve my goal. Thank you very much for uh, time. Professor Kim Munbong. Uh, you have any question? <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Sejun. The question and answers will be later. Okay. Probably it's better. Okay. And then uh, Professor Park will. Already, Professor Chu explained about the, uh, our the target of this project. Uh, so, uh, first of all, Dr. Ba uh, introduced our institute, what kind of work, what kind of target object. Just, uh, Good morning, everyone. I'm Fraser to be here and thank you for inviting us and I'd like to simply introduce the, uh, our work about the Nakton River. The, there are two projects we conduct, conducted. One is flood monitoring cooperation with Busan National University. And the other is <coughs> a project of our institute for conservation. There are three flyways in the Korean Peninsula. And we interested in Dakdong River flyway. And also, there are three, there are four important flyways related to Nakhtong River flyway. And we focus on Taipeng wetland and Wupo wetland and Chunam reservoir. This is the Taipeng wetland. Taipeng wetland is famous with Cygnus, Cygnus, Wupaswa and cranes and also Dogs. And this is Wupo Wetland, also famous with Wupo Swap. And this is Chunam Reservoir, also famous with GIS. This is monitoring reserve. We conducted both monitoring December. 2020 to November 2021, every month. These three sites 
have a 90 to 110 species. So I think very diverse species in there. And this is top 10 species from three sites. Three sites have uh, three site dominant ancestral species. And blue color means winter species in these three sites. Hatton wetland. In the Hatton wetland, ancestral species and another species and signals signals is dominant. And Bupo wetland, also ancestral species and another species and signal species is dominant. And Nam Reservoir also answer species and another species, signal species dominant. So we should conservate we should I, I think we should the conservation this three this kind of answer species and another species, signal species is very important. And additional representative, representative species in Hepburn wetland. Hepburn wetland is a very, very famous site for the star oversight. And also wintering site. Maybe Professor Park is playing more there. And also, Wuppersun is increasing every year in this Hepburn wetland. Next one is representative species of Wuppo wetland. Wuppo wetland is breeding site for Kugo Kugo and restoration site for Nipponia Nippon. And representative species of Jinan Reservoir so many white native cranes stuck over here. And before talking about second project, I'd like to simply introduce our institute. 2004, Professor Hichampa opens institute of Orthology in Gyeongbuk National University. And 2010, Exotic Conversation Institute Chichan is designated by Ministry of Environment. And 2016, Professor Hichampa opens Institute of Ornithology Corporation, MPO. And currently, we are working to restore endangered birds and their habitat in the Napdong River. So first, we conduct restore signals oro in Ando. And next one, we restore the Anjimo BPO in Gumi City with Samsung Electronic Company. And also, we restored of we restored gross Japanese in Gumi City. And we restored Nipponia Depot in Upa Wetland. Uh, just uh, Dr. Wang introduced uh, our uh, what I doing? What, uh, what what are you doing in our, in our institution? Uh, and uh, uh, just like I, I'd like to uh, say, uh, well, two point because uh, 2009 from 2009 to uh, 2012, uh, 2012. 그러면 조금 그냥 영어로 해도 되겠습니까? 한글로 먼저 가시겠어요? 영어로 하시죠. 제가 짧게 뭐 설명할게요. 아, 
저 좋은 엑스란트한 드라이스와이트를 두고 그렇게 예 이제 그러면 제가 한국말로 하고 몽골말로 예 몽골말로 번역하는 게 양쪽이 맞을 것 같습니다. 어 2009년부터 2012년까지 어 우리 우리나라 그러니까 한국에서는 강을 네 개의 강을 그 개조하는 그 프로젝트가 있었습니다. 허리면과 있을 삶의 마음이라는 하란다. 국내부터 사람 수준생 아들 수준 아들의 어떤 노력 실력이 부실 일자. 예, 그 프로젝트는 물론 정부가 어그 개발했습니다. 그 다음에 그 프로젝트의 그 변화는 그 프로젝트로 인해서 특히 낙동강의 변화가 상당히 많았습니다. 자, 드디어 인 두른 가즈라스, 벌써 낙동강의 가즈라인 가즈라스 우르둥 벌써 이제 탓 아직겠죠? 특히 그 물의 깊이 수심 수심이 깊어졌습니다. 그다음 두 번째 그물 속에 있는 모래 섬이나 그다음 수변의 모래 톱이라 그러죠. 톱이 전부 사라졌습니다. 사라졌다고? 줄다 쪄졌다. 음. 아, 자, 이게 이나 우뚱 받들어서 또 탑스터 체크한 것도 노래인 꿈인 것도 오실겠죠. 자몽 들에 노래인 아까 노래 도자 뭐 다른 얼마? 아, 되게 되게 들 노래 오시니 아, 또 오실 때도 다섯. 네, 특히 그 수련이나 얕은 수련이나 그다음 노래 섬을 좋아하는. 세 중에 하나가 바로 두름입니다. 두리? 두리. 크레이. 크레이. 음. 타브로. 육순이. 타브로. 타브로. 아. 음. 타브로. 아, 대라. 요 대라. 너는 대리 짱 왔다 봐도 좋을 때 요는데 타브로. 어, 왔다 이렇게 못해. 드린 샌드였어. 무슨 타브로. 이때 왔어요, 임시네. 그래서 저희들이 그 강의 개발. 이후부터 꾸준히 우리 낙동강의 변화가 낙동강을 통과하는 이동하는 두름이나 기름이나 그다음 다른 새들에게 어떤 영향이 있는지를 조사해 봤습니다. 아, 되게 두름이 다시 뭐가 고름 두름이 소름이 바깥인 노란 게 있다면 이제 이렇게 노란 게 아까 날짜가 될 때임 소름과 되게 기름 같은 게 있는 되게 미국은 맞다 이 고름 아까 소름과 소름. 에, 단순히 강의 변화로 그 두리미들이나 또는 기르기 이런 종류들의 그 감소나 증가가 그 단순히 강의 변화만으로는 다 말씀드릴 수 없지만 그 밖에 뭐 기후변화도 있고 하지만 일단 저희들은 강의 변화에다가 초점을 맞추어서 말씀드리겠습니다. 자, 이제 인 쇼어디 무기근들 와서 대신 도사를 할 것들 좀 기름식인 게 나온 다시는 어떤 흑색 배틀 무슨 안기대 비밀인 쪽에서 또 인물 신을 비벗어 노래 오스니아가 오실 때가 할 것이 소파에서 조금 전에 우리 저 닥터박이 소개했던 구미 색강의 구미 강에서 그 소화하니까 우리가 말 우프 소화 그래서 이 오프 수완이 굉장히 많은 걸 보셨습니다. 자, 두분 사이 닥터 박현 달철한데 아까 고민들 갔었는데 다원이 혹시 홍긴 아까 저업했었는데 그래서 이 고민인 지인들 기억 맞아 홍긴 아까 이 오십칠도 아직 됐죠? 약한 15년 전에 저희 방 이거 저희 연구생이 그 꿈이 색강에서 약 겨울 동안에 오십 마리의 그 우퍼 수완이 월동하는 걸 확인했습니다. 자, 아름다운 질병은 만화에 납부터에 아따 섰다 저희 동안 섰대로 우긴 도로시니 그때 아름다운 아따 다가 홍 말팀이 탈출했어? 네. 작년 그러니까 지난 겨울에 그러니까 겨울에 우퍼 수완이 구비에 약천 마리가 월동을 했습니다. 자, 그때 제가 두루 제일 엄청 제일 오고서 
Ин гомигийн нуран дээр алгал нийтдээ 1000 талгаа дохон тоолсон байгаа. Баруун дээр зүгт л чун ян пуй тарашин байгаа мэд. Нөмөрөө төгтгөө хаги би нав. Нөмөрөө төгтгөө хаги гэжэл суга өрн төр таа. За энэ дээрээс бол бид бүхэн одоо ажиглалч болохоор зөв л 15 жилийн хугацааны дотор гэхэд энэ нуурын өрчилттэйгээр холбоотой хөнгийн тоон сүрг бол маш ирчмтэй өссөн байгаа нь бол харагдаж байна. Тэр юу тухайн гүмийн эсвэл хасууд жүнөө хан өөрөө хамаа ихэнц сами тэгээ хүүд ид крэй ашимка хүүд ид крэй хүүд ид крэй хүүд ид Kedamae jadul ni, jom dengar nak tengok jadul ni. Wajib ni kita kering. Kita ini kod itu kering kalau hektar ni kita mani orang dengan banyak dahul ni yang yang ikan hari jam tu kita stop bawa hatta kita ini orang orang kau ini. Jadi mungkin ada terhad taro jadi kita dapat urut hari tu sendiri sendiri taro kita dengan ini orang mata tu semua besar. Өвлийн дүрш бидныйн тоуснаар болуул нейдтай хоэр мэн гаару толгоу болуул ерч энэжээ айлж агаад тэгээд Япон лоу болуул үүдлтэг баа? Тэнаан гэв үүрээн хүүдэд крэйн ба гэдаан жэдэр үн ега болу хатчас бэг үшэг эс самдайг маар жэмдэг баа үүж арасын мэд баа? За үнгэрсэн жэлгэн толгоар бол тэр хар тогоруу тэгээд тэр жээдүүр юм гээд шоу нээдтээ мэнг таван зоуаас үргэм мэнг толгоу олдол нээдтээ ерч Гэрэнгээ Бүр ээ тобүр ээ жуахан түгін бидарын сүтчага, ээд үнг сүтча, дон мүмүнүм сүтчага гэээ шиппуны элло, яг шиппуны элло жүлгу Гэдаам мүрээсо үйгэрэн мүггүүд сэнгарангэн бүгүнэй нэгэ бүпэсуанын яг Ирдэй исан, дөрдан. За, тэгээд яг энэ нүрн дээр олгүл байрлаад, нүрн нь ото тэр нүйбад замаг тэмээ, эм зүйлэдэй холлдаг шуғу болох тэр тогору хүн, цэн тогору гэд эн шуғу дэй маан тоу олгүл үнэг жилүүд, үнэг ом жилүүд дээ нэг харсуул хэм болуул дохордастай нэмэдэж ога. Яг гэрэс кэрэн гангэ пьянхаага Jepalni tadi bukan hari ke sunan optimal, siang ni pilihan bagus juga. Jadi ni dah kena sah sah atau sih norot ter sotlah ini sah sah buat tuh jangan sotlah nanti tuh syarat lah tu lah. Ya, kerisau jadi yang gus saya sekarang apa awal itu tak terbagi so dia ni kecilom. Ini kanal taras, nak tunggu kanal taras berjom, wiki jom tu, tapi Kita Kristi Ibis, kita si asli. Kristi Ibis itu zaman upah mutih, bukan lagi sendiri. Jumlah yang yang ni rendah sekali, kalau kita jumlah itu dua hari pada masa kalau yang jam sabit hari jam tu, kita sendiri kita sendiri. Ja, yang ni rasanya mana kulit tinggi tu bes, hijau aja lah tu. Kemas tu pun doktor pakai, ada istilah terharjat sen. Jadi kemas tu hati ting, yang yang kita kat atas betul. Turun ini ke, ada show ni kan ni ribut cerita betul kau tak sih? Ya jauh. Tiap ada show kat atas betul. Ini dia turun tu, tak faham kat atas cerita macam tu show sen. Yang dia ini dia kat atas tu show cerita yang macam tu ada sih je. Beli wajan ni pakai, dan red crown tu pakai. Tu jomel jadi yang khusus esa ingo puhar sikit aja tu, cikis. Jamung tu ni pas ikut terus jasa, tu sur jauh pas ni khair tu jen show agai, khair tu jen show agai betul. Mac jauh tu, ada hil tu lagi gitu tu mac, tapi tu ni mukjul, ingat urjul, tu sur jauh agai macam ni. Aji bawang dek aku nak ni cuma red crown green hamariga. Uli yang khusus itu nak asa, kerana sehian, kita uli cuma ni lah, ni mana dia? Sehian kali kata ga, tadi borong, jadi dia sengui hat jen, ya jen dangir, kita cuma kena mesti. Jadi mana lapitan asa, atau lapitan yang tuh senda kagak jas, 
одоо юу гэв үржилсэн энэ улаан толгойтой шуурай яг юу гэнэ бол мэдхгүй монгол нэрээ мэдхгүй за энэ шуу бол яг манай одоо нагдуун дээр байгаад инженерсээ ахиж нөхөн талаар өөрөө нисчээд буцаад ахаад нагдуун дээр ирэх ийм одоо зүйлүүд ажиглагдаж байгаа нь болохоор байгалдаа илүү тасан зохицож чадаж байна гэж бол бид нэр дүгнэж Çünkü de olsun diye bir hanım bir proje tercih etmem anne çünkü hanım da haklı diye ben kazan bir proje tercihinse, uyga Mongolya, Hangi, kaçı yıllar sözüyle manel karşısına geldi. Zaten diğer türlü hangi ekim tercih olsun bu sene ilk sorularım profesörün adı herkül çaga endüstriyel kuren, başlara mana kurenin ilk soruları zaten müste hamtarsam ата судалгааны ажлууд улам өргөжөөд илүү их ота үрдүнг хамтдаа боловсруулж гаргаж авах боломжтой гэж бодсон чинь. Тэгэхээр нэг дүг ажил өөр маршрут дээр гоо шиг дээ. Чи зэн нэг ота бүр жүгэл өсөн дөө маршрут хашаад чи маа янжогээсөө янжогээсөө жонгдрэ гэн үр ганчин жонгдрэ дээс GPS бүчаад тэгээс migration router чаннанга За миний зүгээс болохоор хамтарсан төсөл дээр хоёр зүйлийг бол одоо хамтран хийхийг маш их хүсэж байгаа. Нэгдүгээр нь бол бидний сонирхож байгаа шуудын зүйлийг дээр одоо GPS суралцуулаад одоо хөдөлгөөнийг ажиглах ийм ажил. Яг тэр юу төгөлж энэ зөвийгаа Россия Кинкансики дэйчэ Conservation AI-с өөрийгөө жетүлүүмэрэл дүмарыг хаж үзэх гэж байна нэ. Тэнде чигэмэн жигүтэнэн жом Монголэсэ жетүлүүмэна, даамэ дүрүмэна, даамэ бо дүшэна ирэн жонгдэрэл жүнэн жонгдэрэл жом өөрийгөө гатчи гёвханхаго даамэ гатчи гэдэг брийдингдо хэвэрэн гэн дэсэл хэсэн жоггэдэ. А хоёр дахь ажил нь аяул бид нэр одоо өмнө Орсос болохлээрээ шууд Орсын одоо Орсос шууг авиачаад Солонгост авиачаад одоо өсгөж үржүүлэх судалгаанд ашиглах юм ажил хийжсэн. Тэгвэл энэ одоо болохлээрээ Монголоос одоо жэдүрийн цэн тогтрогч жэдүрийн тэгээд бүргэд гэх мэшлэн гэргэн сонирхож байгаа гурван зүйл шууд байгаа. Тэгэхээр энэ шуудыг одоо хамтран солилцох дээрээс нь ахиад сэлэгц ийм чиглэлээр одоо сэлэгц өржүүлэн чиглэлээрээ хамтарч ажиллах гэж сонирхож байна. Тэгэхээр өөрөө ч юм уу төзөгөө за гомнийн өдөнгө ханага и монгол жилийн зөвлөрийн гэ мани депонштик сар өрнөн жонгдөр гаунд дүрэмнэн дүрэмний жэдүрэмнэн жэдүрэмэрэл өдсөн монголын өдсөн гэж юм гэдэг хийгдсэн үнэн шийсэрэл мандэрсэн жоогтой. За мөн тэгээ дахиад дүрний хийсэн тий дүрийн жэдүрийн тэгээ бүргэд гэх мэшлэн дээр энэ шуудыг Монголын аль нэгэн газар одоо бид нэр энэ шуудыг үржүүлдэг, хамгаалдаг судалгаа хийдэг энэ газрыг бас хамтарч байгуулах хэрэг гэсэн чинь. Тэгээ ивэн проект үний PIN зүгийг яг явсан юм ээ санхны дур байгаж байгаа За саяны профессор бол их одоо мөнгөтэй төсөл хэрэгжүүлж байгаа. Тэгэхээр чүүлээс нь юм ийм за төрөн дунгыг бол баг гэсэн л нэг нэг хав үед гэнэ. Тэгээд ялангуяа илүү тэр мөнгөө яаж үр дүнтэй зөв ашиглахаа гэдэг дээр маш их бодож татсалж байгаа юм. Тэгэхээр ерөнхий үрийг асруу корпорашнаар тунгаас оо би дунгуу гашиаа чэлсэдэл эдийн дунг гэрмгөө то чэлсэдэл богоне гүзэгэн ч юм яхаар зөрөө химэр хавчсан хэлсэн юм жоогсон юм. За тэгээ цаашдаа бид нэрийн уусан хамтарч төлөвлөж байгаа ажлууд дээр харилцан санал солилцоод үр дүнтэй одоо ажлыг энэ Азийнхан төвшөнд усны хийг бас их хүсэж байгаа. За хамтарч ажилцгаая. Тавсангаа. Тэр цагтан үри хам бүрэн сог шигээ төрийг уусан хамгийн та. Яг нэг танилцуулгыг хүсчихэн. Хөр үзэл үрийг зөв. Аа нэг сэмбэр шиг гадна ч. Нэг сэмбэр гадна ууш ч. Нэг. Э, үрийг зөв гэсэн дэшиг өгөө. Зөв зөв ипанг сэгсэ дэн зөрөг хэлсэн. 
Mama Savas, Mama Hussein Savas, and the other guy, the other sources to something get a head that maybe be your theory, your magistrate. I think that you saw that thing, you can tell me. Check up on the Kunter, I had done your Suman, Mongol, the theatre, to the Kunita, to Chinder, check up money, Chinder, yes, I have a book. She wants to she did uh, she prepared my PPT. She will join the uh, uh, virtual study group and uh, Busan group. Uh, Professor Park and uh, Dr. Park and myself will join uh, Anatide group separately. So she will join. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give very short. I'm going to give it give short as possible. Um, my talk will cover bird research and conservation in Mongolia and the future. Collaborative ideas of uh, Korean and Mongolian scientists. So, my name is quite long, please call me Gombo just easy. This is the outline of my presentation. Very, very brief introduction to Mongolia and birds. Maybe most of our colleagues from Korea they really don't know what the Mongolia is. And the bird research and and the achievements I'm going to talk about, and in the future collaborative ideas. So you can see the red dot is Mongolia, we are here, and another red dot is Korea. If you compare the, the country's uh, statistics, uh, Mongolia has the 1.5 million square kilometers, uh, the Korea's and 100,000 square kilometers uh, seem to be quite small, uh, but I drove over the Korea, uh, it was quite long anyway. Um, the population size in Mongolia 3.4 million in 2022, uh, Korea 51.3 million. I, I don't know, I don't think this. This figure from a uh, website. Very interesting is Busan population 3.4 million, which is the total population of Mongolia. And 0.5 square kilometer per person in Mongolia. And in Korea, 0 0.001 square kilometer, a little bit crowded. Uh, quite interesting numbers. We do have 67.3 million livestock, which is quite quite big number. But still, we 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 buy the expensive meat in Lombard city. Don't ask me why. Uh, since 1990, we have the democracy. I don't know. I really don't understand what the real democracy is. But anyway, we will have a chat uh, about that. Um, this is still Lombardo City, probably you can't see now because the uh, sticky buildings around you, but if you go on top, probably in, in Bogd Mountain you will see the, the valley. Two, uh, 230,000 herders families, I mean the, the, the herdsmen live in uh, typical girl camps. We call the girl, please don't call it Yurt. Yurt is a Russian name. We don't hate the Russians, but it's better to, to use the girl. Good thing is in countryside there, there is no traffic light, so uh, you, will, you will feel a little bit free when you get in countryside. We do have the four seasons. There are 3,280 species of vascular plants in Mongolia. 
and 1,300 species algae, around 1,000 species of lichen, 140 species of trees and shrubs, 12,000 species of insects. I don't know why they put in 12,000, probably it's better. 12,001, why not? 162 species of moth, 64 species of fish, but well, sometimes 74. Don't ask me why, probably the taxonomy issues. Six species of amphibians, 21 species of reptiles, 141 species of mammals, and 519 species, let's say 520 species of birds. Uh, if you look at the figure, the most, most species are the migratory species, 80, more than 80% are the migratory species. I rest of them, uh, very few, let's say, very few species, only 10% resident breeders. It means that all species, most species in Mongolia are migratory. So that's why we, we should work, or we, we shall work with the international team, because all the species of food in Mongolia are migratory. We do have very, very nice tradition to, to conserve or to protect the migratory birds. If you look at the old people in countryside, they sprinkle tea, milk, not tea, milk, uh, wishing happy journey for, for migratory birds. When the migratory birds can arrive in Mongolia, they also they sprinkle tea. Welcome to my country. That's the tradition, very nice tradition. Unfortunately, the tradition is we are losing this nice tradition because, you know, all these new things. I'm, I'm not, not young, but also I'm not I'm old. So I do understand. I'm, I'm very on transit between young and young generation and old generation. That's why, that's why probably I, I do understand better than younger or no better than all the generations and the situation. Most people imagine the Mongolia is the, this kind of country. Wash, dry, endless. Well, that's the true, but it's not true. We do have, because we do have the quite nice, the natural zones. Wait, let me, this is the high mountains. The Hangaihao Mountains and Altai Mountains. Probably you, you you would visit the Altai Mountains and Kupsu Mountain. That's the high mountains area. And and we, the Mongolia is situated on the southern slope or southern end of the uh, Taiga Forest, Bore Forest. Uh, this is the. Hinti Boro Forest, we call it Tiger Forest, T A I G A, Tiger Forest, and Kupsku region, that's Hangai Mountain region, it has, they, they have the, the Boro Forest. And the do have the forest step, it's very transit zone between the forest and step. And this is the typical step, this one, dark, uh, the uh, yellowish brown. The polygons, and it's south of this step, the desert step, and on the southern end of the desert step, uh, there is the Gobi Desert. If you look at the map of Mongolia, mostly would say almost half of the country is open step. That's why most people imagine. Mongolia is open west step. So, very briefly, uh, high mountains, those are four uh, high mountains, actually five high mountains, it looks like this. It's quite nice species, probably some of the bird watchers here, that's why I'm showing the nice pictures. Uh, the Kozlov Accenta, this is one small bird, it's not interesting, but in reality, very interesting species because it's, it's 
would be endemic to you know, the Gaudian. So that, that planet centre and bearded vulture. The taiga forest looked like that. This is a common dog. This is the desert, Gobi Desert area. Look like that, but it's not right pictures anyway. Uh, the habitat is, uh, should be different. Uh, the Mongolian Grand Jay, or sometimes called the Henderson Grand Jay. Um, Palace of Sand Grounds. Probably, if you have time, you, you would visit typical Gobi Desert area one day. So, if you look at the distribution map of all the species, 487 species maps. If you all like them, you will get this map, and then surely you can see the, the we call this one uh, the only raptors I, I used. The more raptor species in North Mongolia. <coughs> and central Mongolia, and western Mongolia, but not to the south of Mongolia. The distribution of the species uh, in Mongolia differ by the region. The reason for that, because we are, the Mongolia is on three different flyways. You know, East Asian, Shell Asian flyway in East Mongolia, and then Central Asian flyway, it's it's to the India and Myanmar and West Asian flyway, which is the most migratory birds migrating to uh, the, the, the Africa. So that's why the most species are migratory and then distribution is different. If you look at the, the threatened species, it's not many species threatened in Mongolia, only 10% are threatened in Mongolia. Here we go, here we Threatened bird species in Mongolia. It's critically endangered. Probably you are familiar with these IUCN uh, the categories, I yeah. think. So, the critically endangered, that's the Dalmatian pelican, is uh, critically endangered, and Siberian crane. We, we, we talked a couple of times uh, white pepper crane, all those cranes. Endangered six species, white headed duck. Have you seen it? I've seen last week uh, around 20 pairs in, in Western Mongolia and relict gull. I don't know if you get uh, relict gull in South yeah, Korea. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, big breeding population we found last year uh, in Western Mongolia. Greater spotted eagle, palace fish eagle, and a short tailed snake eagle. It's winters in, in, uh, in India. Reed parrot bill is quite similar to, not quite, uh, similar to the uh, your the rain's fronted uh, parrot bill. The the one of the species that's less white fronted goose, as the Dr. Park mentioned, white tail still 500,000, I guess, in South Korea, I don't know. The Virgin is dark, the Lama Gaius, the white pepper crane and hooded cranes are. They, uh, they were murder species. The new threatened species, that's, that's a couple of species I know. Data is deficient species, 15 so far. A threat to Mongolian birds, if you look at the threat, threat analysis, analysis we did, in, it's a bit old, in 2011, you can see they have a loss in degradation, high percentage, almost 40%. The reason for that is again, livestock overgrazing and global warming, and let's blame global warming. So, it used to be like this nice wetland, and if, if it is dry, and 67 million livestock overgrazing wetlands became like that, all the breeding species usually gone, well, we, we export the falcons, you know. That's the bit, bit old. Last date was 2015. The highest number of sacred falcons exported in 2002, 2005, 
it really depends on who is the minister involved, which is very unusual in other countries, but it's usually in Mongolia. The poison problem, the small rod end, this one, if the number increases, they eat all green plants. The Minister of Agriculture decided to use the oral denticide, with the pesticide, to reduce the number of the plants while using airplane mixed grain with the oral denticide. The, the result is easy. Lots of animals died. Even children died. Electrocution problem. There's thousands and thousands of birds dying, electrocuted, including the, the serious volunteer sorry, and other birds. But we can sort out, of course, but the, in China, in, if, you, if you go to the inner Mongolia and through the China, all the same line there. If Chinese government do not fix it, well, you know, So I'm, I'm going to refer very briefly what, what we're doing right now. A couple of uh, projects is going on with my uh, students in ground nesting raptors. We usually focus on raptors last 10 years. And bird monitoring at two wind farms. You know, recently the Mongolian government established quite many wind farms. We're doing all the monitoring work and bird migration and power line and raptor mortality. They recently we working with the couple of universities from the different countries, the Harvard University, uh, uh, United States, and uh, Uppsala University from Sweden, we're working on the taxonomy and phylogeny of the species. We, we published a couple of papers, you know. Uh, I will give you this presentation you can read in later. Bird monitoring sign, power line, quite many. Probably it's a bit interesting to you. The, the first satellite tracking study started in 1993. So the Japanese Mongolian team put the one transmitters in Dimazol Crane in Western Mongolia. The Dimazol Crane passed the Himalaya Mountains, wintered it in in India. Another one is 1995, one American, my, one of my friends, David Ailis, uh, deployed one satellite transmitter on Step Eagle. They, they, this species, I mean, the individual migrated to China and then died there. And it started 1999, Sinelis Walcha, I think, uh, Mr. Young, uh, Noyim Day started Korean colleagues started Sinatus Vulture Monitoring. Um, the Seiko Folk, and that's the my work, we put the more than 50 Seiko Folk, 50 transmitters on Seiko Falcons from 1999 to 2008. And we do understand the Seiko Folk migration. Why the Ukraine, we started with the Jap Japanese friends, now as Mongolian colleagues putting uh, with the, I mean, the in, co uh, in collaboration with the Chinese colleagues. Just I had a call from the, my friend from China. They have the 10 satellite transmitters. They want to put tra all transmitters on common crane. Well, very difficult to catch them. Um, black stork in swan goose, uh, great Boston. You said, Dr. Park and uh, Professor Drew mentioned, who push number numbers increasing. We, we put, I don't remember, around 30 transmitters from 2015 to, to uh, 2016. And then the birds migrated to, uh, to Korea, mostly in China. The, so, the Seiki Falcon migration from Mongolia to north, northwestern China, Urumqi area, they went to there. The black storks, they, they migrate actually they migrate right here, mm -hmm. the same population as as European. The palace species of the American uh, the university team, my team, put the transmitters on 
the, the Pallas fish eagle. Again, it's wintered in, in India, which is the Central Asian flyway. The, this is the Hooper swan. I can see they mostly they, they wintered in, in China. The bar headed goose, we put them on transmitter with the colleagues from Japan that wintered in India as well. They recently, recently I'm working with the, the taxonomy in the phylogeny, the molecular taxonomy with a couple of universities. So this is the good result. Used to be probably just recently published in one monograph on Mongolian Shotola, which is used to be greater Shotola. Now the recent taxonomy now is Mongolian Shotola, very, very um, uh, isolated distribution. North of Inner Mongolia and East Mongolia, that's the distribution of the Mongolian Shotola. That's the new uh, new species for for uh, for science, but used to be subspecies. Another one is no one cares, you know, Asian show to like tiny small bird. We worked together, Uppsala University guys, and we did we in Mongolia we had three different species of the Asian show to like. In Korea I don't know which subspecies, which species there. Well, interesting. Well, we, we, I think we do have time to discuss all this, but uh, l l let me escape it. We, we do publish the Ornis Mongolica peer reviewed journals, and Mongolian Red List of Birds and Conservation Action Plans, published quite old, now it's 10 years now. We publish a couple of, uh, couple of paper, uh, papers and a couple of books. Uh, Future uh, cooperative uh, ideas. That's the. I just got this text from MOU sessions. So, as the Dr. Drew mentioned and Park, uh, Park mentioned about which species will be potential for the uh, for the collaboration. I look through the books. I haven't looked at Korean birds, uh, even in your sign, uh, the, the list of uh, birds. The Amos species, as you mentioned, um, mallard and, and eastern spot billed duck is common species, but we should not overestimate or overlook the even common species. Common species are very interesting anyway. And the swan goose, I don't know, you will get it. Uh, I think uh, in north in Korea, north of Korea, uh, it does occur. In red crest and black neck green, quite interesting. I don't know in your weapons, black stork, your bridging spoonbill. Good thing is, I thought we counted 11,000 your raging spoonbill, the one leg. So uh, that's the potential. Great cormorant. It's, it's a very common species, but we should look at. Uh, white tailed eagle, East Marsh are quite interesting. Even the Eurasian coots, very common in your country, in my country, but we don't know where they're migrating. Mm -hmm. yes. White devil crane, we do, we do know the migration somehow they wrote, but it's still unclear. Northern lockwing. It's quite common in your country as well. In my country, it's quite common. And if you ask, where did Margaret? Question, we don't know. Black-tailed godwit is, should be passing through your country straight to New Zealand, Australia. Asian dog eater. Even red shanks, we, do, we don't know the migration, really. Black-headed gull, lost last week, I mean 10 days ago, we counted more than 20,000 breeding individuals in one place. We don't know where. They were to Margaret. In Mongolian gull? We don't know. Definitely Mongolian gull in winter in, in Korea. In terns, the common terns, and little terns, white-winged 
black tones where the market we don't really know. So if you work for those species, potentially would be good because why I cho I have chosen those species, they are very easy to catch them in Mongolia. In order to understand migration route and sister site development for wetlands and initiate new project on wetlands together and in site selection of mid to long term monitoring of course graduate student program between National University of Mongolia and Korean universities now let's go the students and research uh, exchange program development we do have the very very good experience on summer field course with the European schools, mostly from UK universities. So why not to develop the students, graduate students, undergraduate students, summer field course in Mongolia? Why not? That's the uh, that's the idea we should work together. So if you look at the our generation, so 50-50 now, if you look at the Mongolian the generation of younger, we need to focus on young people. But not, I'm not saying not focus on older people. So that's why student conference on wetlands, water birds between Korea and Mongolian universities, at least once in two years. That's a very, very important to motivate the young people for wetland water birds conservation. Why not we establish joint biology club between the university students? Why not? So joint field studies, which is very important to share the information, share experiences, and data collect uh, collection, cooperative supervision, graduate students. This that's the another. Uh, things uh, we should do. I think I worked with the three, four Korean graduate students in Mongolia. Well, true thing is they never camp in countryside. They usually field work in Korea, basically side to hotel, another hotel to hotel. But in Mongolia is different. You have. In middle of step, there is no hotel, hotel at all. You have to set up your own camp, make the fire, and cook your own food. So that's the true field experience in Mongolia. That's the potential. As I mentioned, in my Cook School Lake, probably most of our colleagues haven't heard about the Cook School Lake, which is the largest freshwater lake. The age is two million years old. There's unfortunately no designation in Ramsar side in Mongolia yet. It's better to do Korean and Mongolian team because our students, our new generation, should understand how to apply uh, or designate the Ramsar site uh, and a Ramsar criteria. So that's why it's it's the it's the good side, good potential side to work together. They, and the potential hydrological and the biodiversity monitoring uh, of birds, aquatic invertebrates and mammals, plants, other the organisms like fungi. We, that's the potential topics we can work together for the Cook School Lake area. Uh, the Coop School Lake is one of the sites for, uh, for the international long-term ecological research, but now is uh, the Woodside Slavery. So, National University of Mongolia and uh, Pusan National University, not only Pusan National University, but no, other the universities in Korea, would or sh shall develop the master program on biodiversity and biological resources. Like we do have the, uh, I don't think between Korea and Mongolia there is 
the the mass to joint program on biodiversity in biology and in ecology yet. Why not be in shit? Um, I think biology department and national university will be very supportive for the develop development of this kind of the program. I mean the the program means the curriculum. They at least one semester field work shall be done in Mongolia with the Korean students. Course taught by the board professor from Mongolia and Korea. It's kind of uh, the joint curriculums we need to to develop. And data collect data collection and analysis of both universities, the field station established for this program in the uh, state or local project. Probably you do understand the, the status of the protected areas in Mongolia. There are, uh, I would say, generally four different categories. The lower two categories belong to local administration, which is the provincial, uh, the governors you usually run in these protected areas. Anyway, local protected areas potential for, 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 for development of the uh, the uh, field research stations together in Mongolia. I don't think in Korea, but in Mongolia. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> so meanwhile, mm -hmm. I'd like to hand over my just recently published books for, for three different teams. Not my um, Recently, I published um, two different uh, volumes of books, uh, Birds of Mongolia. So, this volume is just all about the Birds of Mongolia textbook. You can you can get get the idea how to develop the 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 our uh, collaborative ideas. I like to uh, invite. Uh, the Professor Ju, please select the right species for cooperation. <laughs> uh, I'd like to invite the, uh, Professor Park. Thank you very much. So um, I like uh, <laughs> I'd like to give uh, another copy to my old friend. No, in there. <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, thank you. But uh, uh, next time, so I give uh, you know better give to uh, awesome. Awesome. Yes, yes. Awesome. I will give you. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Well, please, please <laughs> take it. I will <laughs> give <laughs> give them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, yes, next uh, colleagues from the uh, Sandov, who would be take the. I will give you the uh, second one of the book uh, today during the dinner time. So, and then film and crew, probably you will get the one copy of this book. Because all the bird species, mammal species, everything is here. It's quite useful in 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 your team. Who will take it? Okay. So another book I'd like to give the uh, uh, my old friend Kim Duk Son. Uh, I will give you later two volumes to you. Thank you. So, yeah. Professor Dayabata from uh, uh, Director of the School of Arts of uh, Science at our university. Please have a seat, Professor. Oh, hold on. So, that's the my presentation. 
I will give you all my uh, presentations. Uh, and then if you have any questions, any any ideas, please please later you can ask me. Yeah. Is the proceed MOU now or I'm, so I'm going to sit, see that now the questions questions and answers in later. Yeah. So let's just start the MOU signing ceremony. So Uh, Mr. Ju from uh, Busan National University. And are you looking at it? Yeah, you can see it. Thank you so much for All right, so this is the agreement of cooperation between the School of Arts and Sciences, National University of Mongolia, and the Brain Career Plus program, the Busan National University Korea. So, representative from uh, Mongolia, Professor Zaya, Zaya Bakar Dalla, uh, the direct, director of the School of Arts and Sciences, is my boss. Uh, from the, uh, the Busan National University, Professor Ju, uh, representative from Busan National University. So, I prefer the three copies of the uh, MOU. Uh, here is uh, Professor Yung Bu Hyun. Okay. He, uh, he signed already, so mm -hmm. Professor Zayan Bakhtu will sign on it. I'd like to express uh, my gratitude to uh, Professor Dayabaka. Uh, he, he, uh, he was, he's helping all the time our collaborative work. Uh, we, we are, we are not the same people, I mean the same the profession, but different, but he understood the life science. He he supports life science. So uh, thank you, Professor Dayabata, to be here and to sign on the agreement to be all these topics in the in the our MOU. You know, we're trying to our best to do uh, to do the, all the jobs, all the works 
mentioned in the uh, MOU. Well, we don't know what will happen, but we will try the out west. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So he's a very busy man, uh, lots of meetings, so he will, uh, he will leave us now. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come down with that. Yeah. So, um, again, I like to give short as possible. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give out uh, the introduction to the species in mean, the uh, Cineus waters and then the future collaborations. So, the Cineus vulture is breeding visitor and partial migrant, all we know. Partial migrant means the some individuals, we don't know how many individuals. Winter in Mongolia, and some of them migrate to three different countries. But well, interestingly, they migrate to Russia. So most young birds migrate to uh, the Republic of Korea. So that's why they partial migrant. So uh, globally, need need threatened. But Mongolia region the least concerning. It's not rare bird in Mongolia. It's a very common bird. So we don't have any conservation measures taken for this species uh, by now. Only 13% of the species range within protected areas. Of course, include the scientists appendix second and. CMS appendix second. You can, these, you can see the, the distribution of the Cineus vultures in Mongolia. It's called, quite common species everywhere. On migration breeding. Well, it breeds in, in trees, nests in trees, and rock faces in large, the, uh, the rock massives. Sometimes they nest very close to the ground. So, you know, the, the species uh, usually bring the massive, the twigs and dry stems uh, for building of the uh, large nest. Well, interestingly, the female lays only one, very rarely two eggs. So all those information and data are from the different sources of uh, references I had. I had. Um, they usually incubate the eggs for eight weeks, and then they leave. I mean, the chicks leave the nests within 15 weeks after they hatch. Uh, if you look at the breeding success in Iknaftere, it's very low. In 2003, it was 26%. Means that lots of death, lots of mortalities occurred in, uh, for this species. Quite interesting thing is uh, migration. As, as I mentioned before, it's, it winters in South Korea, in Nepal, in China. And North Korea. Uh, the all cases, the most birds winter in South Korea. Uh, lots of wind tugging in Mongolia, in several different places. German research team, they wind tug, uh, wind tug the Sinus vultures everywhere, basically. And then American friends, they set up small research station in the Hinnat area, they usually uh, wind type this species. So most the wind type birds resided in Korea. Probably you can see lots of different wind type birds in, in winter side in Korea. Uh, well interestingly the departure date from South Korea for juvenile birds uh, was in April, 
the sec early April, second of April, and they arrive uh, late April. So basically, they uh, run three weeks uh, travel from Korea to Mongolia. Uh, they they return Korea in November, late November. Uh, they, they they leave Mongolia late October again, but quite similar the uh, the duration. So some of them they migrated to North Korea as mentioned before, northeastern China. There's a lots of uh, not lots, couple of uh, papers, couple of. Uh, references uh, I found. Um, the longest the migration was the 4,000 kilometers, the usually uh, 2,000 kilometers between uh, two countries. The one reason longest kilometer was the almost 5,000 kilometer. This bird traveled to South Korea, then Russia, uh, then ended up the Yakutsu as they can mention. The home range size differs by the, uh, the season. So all this information in my book, you can read it later. So I'm going to leave those of uh, uh, The students will probably uh, interesting to you. The livestock overgrazing, especially the birds nest and near the ground. Because the goats and lambs, they they climb on the, on, on the nest and run over the nest. This, the, uh, this is the, uh, the livestock, not really overgrazing, uh, in general term overgrazing, actually it's disturbance. You know, Mongolia is uh, the, the mineral resource rich country. The mining for gold and other minerals has directly and indirectly affected the species, of course, because most minerals close to the uh, breeding site. Human caused forests and stepwise bull nests, especially in trees nested in in Hinti Mountain or Hanga Mountain, Kusu Mountain range, which the, the, the birds nested in trees. Oh, sorry. The, this, well, strangely, local people, they use the claw for the key holder. Sometimes they shoot the, uh, the vulture and cut off the claws. Mm -hmm. They use the key holders, which is very unusual. Um, also, the, some people, especially local people, herdsmen, shoot this species because they misidentify. Step eagle and golden eagles, they take the young goats and lambs. That's why they, they, they confuse, they shoot the, uh, the senior vultures. But it's not big numbers. Mongolians don't like to shoot or kill the, uh, the birds anyway. The orodinticide, as I mentioned before, the, the brown idyllum, that's the brown swall, the, the, the chemical. Is a cause of secondary poisoning because the poisoned brands will die in this step. Those, the especially young birds, uh, the senior vultures, they pick up the dead walls and eventually they die because the poison, the secondary poison, because it, as I mentioned, electrocution is problem. And also the, not the electrocution, but also the collision. So look at the two dead vultures. One is winter, another one is summer in May. All collided. Uh, even we found the, this young bird. It was, the, it was the live bird in the winter. Well, unfortunately, we don't have the, the rehabilitation center in Lombardy. We just leave the... Is injured bird, birds in the in the field. Uh, we can't uh, can't bring it in our car. So 
Mongolic government exported four individuals to the US and Switzerland. It's all the injured birds because we cannot keep the injured birds in warm water. And they usually ask the colleagues from states in Switzerland, could you take it and, then, and then treat it? That's why the four vultures exported. The, of course, food scarcities, that's the large number of uh, the mortality, mortalities of chicks caused by the starvation. The predators, Eurasian lynx, red fox, but red fox and the grey uh, the grey wolf is quite uh, the, the the significant predators. The cars, the mostly disturbance uh, from the tourist ca gay camps. That's the another problem. Anyway, those are not really huge issue, except for collision and electrocution. What we can do uh, for the sinusoidal collaboration between Korea and Mongolia. So my point, my idea is, so Mongolian expression is human beings become an enemy for their unknown things. That's why everybody should understand the bird including the scenarios vulture in order to conserve or protect it. because if you don't know you cannot conserve or protect it if you do understand do know you will not protect this species so there are a couple of uh, things we should you know, we can do first the sister side development between korea and mongolia for vulture monitoring so we haven't developed it yet um, it's better to discuss Korean uh, colleagues and Mongolian colleagues to decide which side is better. So potentially, Undurha Mountain is a good side, and Bakhtatrin Cholo is also a good side, Charing Bok Mountain also a good side, but there is advantage and disadvantages. So for instance, Bakhtatrin Cholo don't go from the south of Mongolia, is desert is there. Well, unfortunate lack of infrastructure, drying hot for scientists, tourists in long drive. <coughs> in Chorin Rock Mountain, the same situation, lack of the infrastructure. If the people come, there is no proper hotel for the uh, animals, so quite long driving. So it's Undrha Mountain area is quite a potential site to develop the sister site between uh, for the scenarios vulture in Korea and Mongolia. Um, based on the sister site development to develop the local people exchange program between sister site, that's the very important uh, idea. And mid to long term migration studies of the vultures. Well we do know migration but we don't know longevity of the uh, of the individuals and the exact root of the uh, species, uh, the individuals, we do have the rough idea. So, so that's why the cycle of tracking of juvenile and adult birds from different parts of Mongolia. We do know eastern Mongolian population and southern Mongol Mongolian population, they migrated to Korea. But we don't know northwestern and western Mongolian population. So we need to uh, put uh, some uh, supply transmitters on the on the individuals in western Mongolia. But uh, they missed it knowing they explain uh, a little bit detail about that. Mm -hmm. The migration and seasonal movement of this species Mongolia and Korea very important. We do understand the supply tracking is good for migration mm -hmm. but also the seasonal part of the movement. So scientific publication on uh, seasonal movement and migration by graduate students of the universities, which is very important. Lots of people do, lots of people make the decent work, but they don't publish it. Then what? So it's better to publish, but those are young people analyze the data, collect the data, and write up the paper or 
whatever chapter of the book that's the important. Satma tracking is not only option to understand the migration in season movement, but also the wind timing is very important in order to understand longitude how long those individuals live in the wild. So that's the very very important uh, it means to put the transmitters but also the wind type. This uh, the we should do that. So protection means the reduction of mortality in both breeding uh, wind and signs. So we have to uh, sometimes we but I'm very strict, sorry about that. We shall do um, the next monitoring uh, studies on scenarios of altruism in Mongolia in order to understand the mortality rate and also the electrocution collision studies are very important as well uh, and then determine the utilization of claws and feathers some shamans they use the feathers of the uh, scenarios of altruism they accidentally, also accidentally we don't know they, they should the uh, seniors will just we we should we would understand the situation of those uh, of these uh, threats. So uh, conservation and promotion in this theme uh, would like to uh, bring the ideas, citizen science and public awareness program on seniors will just between Hinti province and Gashan. Uh, as I mentioned, select established Korean Mongolian water field monitoring site in Hinti province, which is not far from from uh, Lambata, which is also not so uh, difficult to get there. Only we can use the paved road, and the infrastructure is good. But we we need to discuss about that. Uh, based on this, uh, the water field monitoring site. We, need, uh, we will develop the sister site in the in the area. Also, published leaflet and photo book for the importance of the scenarios water protection in Mongolian Korean language. Well, we can prefer in Mongolian language. You can translate into Mong uh, the Korean languages. Otherwise, uh, the opposite. We can because in local people we we we, we need to bring the leaflets in order to give the right understanding of scenarios watches. So I'd like to the, initiate the academic monograph on this species in Mongolian, Korean and English languages because taxonomy, distribution, breeding, biology, movement, migration, we do have the quite good, good data. It's better to wrap up and write a book but it, it shouldn't be small book, it's better to be good quality, good book. So we need to to collaborate. Uh, Gosan, uh, the team and the university team together. So I like to, we like to initiate the, the organizing Mongolian Korea bird fair once in two years in Korea and Mongolia. So, we had discussion a couple of uh, people about it. The Korean people are very supportive of that. Well, it's, it is not necessary mixed together. It's separately separate in each country. But now so everything is online. We can exchange the, exchange the ID and everything. So if we, if we raise the enough fund, why not in Korea and Ulaanbaatar? Well, uh, another thing is the the our team worked for the protection or promotion public awareness through the photograph. That's the very good initiative to reach the young people and the photographers. So it's probably Korean Mongolian National Photograph Contest on scenarios of ecology and biology and humankind. That's the that's the idea uh, since we. Uh, discussed. So raise a fund for vulture monitoring and protection measures through the freedom of seniors vultures in blue sky country 
Well, that, that's the only our ID you would give us uh, your comments. The third conservation and promotion theme, theme, it will be the filming Life of Cineros Vultures. Filming Cineros Vultures it shouldn't be short short cuts of the footages. It's better the full documentary film because we do have the good good source of the breeding population. You do have the breeding population. Why not? Uh, short and simple documentary film for, chil uh, for children in Mongolian language and Korean language, which is very important to understand these species. The best photography of the Sinirus Vultures of the Year, Korean and Mongolian Joint Photography Contest, as I mentioned before, that's the very, very good. Uh, the education, as we mentioned, as we discussed about that, uh, organize the Vulture Day for children every year, the Mongolian Monetary <coughs> Society and then National University of Mongolia, we organize the World Migratory Birthday. It used to be 100 less than 100 people now it's, I don't know, 200, 300, 500 people now involved in it. So this is the really good uh, idea. Not only in Ulan, but it's better to sister side people, I mean the local people, local students, school children, uh, children, they can do the, the, uh, the World Today uh, promotion. So also the children, they like to draw something. So why not draw a paint to Sinirish Vulture? Like to understand what the, the idea. Again, uh, as I mentioned before, Summerfield students, uh, studies of students from the different universities, that's the very important to, to get the involvement from uh, the different universities. Students and children in exchange program, which is very important. Well, we don't know what will happen the COVID situation. So anyway, uh, sorry for a long uh, presentation. So I think we do have. Uh, we do have a little bit of time and then if you have questions and answers and comments, let's discuss after the, uh, after the, the, uh, the lunch. So, if you have any questions, if you have any questions, please ask me. 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 주의를 비슷한 내용이 하니까 함께 얘기할 것 같은데요. 특별하게 질문 있으면은 뭐 따로 하시고 아니면은 이렇게 진행하고 되겠습니까? Reason for doing that because if you start the questions, uh, the answers and comment, uh, comments, it will be endless. So it's better to listen all the presentation yes. and during the wrap up session. Okay. And we'll put it <웃음> That's a great idea. 자, 여기서 여기 이제 화면을 보시면 어, 여기가 독수리 식당입니다. 그런데 여기 이제 독수리 모기털을 뒷 배경을 보면 이 산이 어떻게 생겼을까요? 몽골 분들 한국 분들 말고 거의 비슷한데 조금 더 디테일하게 말씀드립니다. 어떤 모습을 이 사도자들이 신탁하실 날개를 피우고 그래서 저는 아이들한테 이 장소 택해서 독수리 식당을 10년 이상 하고 있습니다. 
자비인가자자비아스볼츠라레스토랑이렇게이제판을세개만들고자비인가자자비아스볼츠라레스토랑이렇게이제판을세개만들고자비인가자자비아스볼츠라레스토랑이렇게이제판을세개만들고자비인가
또 공골에서 다시 또 고소로 찾아온 모습을 생생하게 전달하는 것입니다. 지금 이 저기 달대에 사시던 우리 공포 박사님도 오셨습니다. 그리고 나서 10년 만에 2000 10년 만에 작년에 2021년도에 또 달았습니다. 저희들이 달 때는 어, 조금 의미를 가지고 달아보자. 그래서 한 친구한테는 요 NS라고 나온 이 친구한테는 어, 고성이라고 이름을 불렀습니다. 고성 분을 해서 고성이. 그 다음에 오른쪽에 그린색을 가진 친구는 몽골이라고 이름을 붙였습니다. 이 친구들이 또 고성과 몽골이를 잊지 않고 몽골에 떠난 몽골이와 고성이들이 올해 11월 달에 고성 독수리 식당을 찾아왔습니다. 그래서 올해 3월까지 고성 독수리 식당에서 밥을 잘 먹고 지금 몽골을 잘 도착해 있습니다. 저희들은 내일 모레부터 이 친구들을 찾으러 나갈 생각입니다. 그리고 이 친구를 날릴 때는 어, 몽골의 어린 아이들과 몽골의 어린 아이들은 몽골의 전통 복장을 차고 왔고 또 우리 고성을 날릴 때 같은 날 날렸고. 그래 날릴 때 우리 저 한국 애들은 한복을 입고 해서 우리 한국 어린이와 몽골 어린이들의 교류를 시작했습니다. 자, 이 친구들도 몽골이와 고성이도 같이 올라간 게 아니라 가는 방향이 달랐습니다. 이것도 굉장히 많은 의미를 저희들한테 던져주고 숙제도 줬습니다. 몽골이는 동쪽을 향해서 날아가고 그 다음에 고성이는 평안도로 날아갑니다. 예전에는 고성에서 내륙을 타고 김포 공항을 길로 갔었는데 몇년 동안 이렇게 동해안 쪽으로 이동을 했다는 사실을 정리했습니다. 자, 이것은 이제 97년부터 몇 마리가 시작을 해서 지금 22년까지 어떻게 변했냐는 것을 기록을 해놓은 자료들입니다. 자, 이 녀석이 또, 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 이 녀석이 또,
97년에 10마리였던 것이 지금 800마리에서 1000마리까지 오고 있습니다. 아, 2005년도에는 100마리를 줄였던 것이 그 당시에 구제역이라는 이러한 어, 하나의 재난이 있었기 때문에 숫자가 줄었습니다. 예, 전년도입니다. 자, 우리 박사님도 잘 아시겠습니다만 거의 몽골에서 민트를 단 것이 어, 저희들이 2006년부터 제가 이제 활용을 하기 시작했습니다. 여기 같이 하신 분들은 번호가 기억나는 애들도 있을 겁니다. 한 가지 재밌는 것이 독수리 식당을 3년 이상을 오는 애들이 좀 드물었다는 사실입니다. 3년 아마 제가, 제가 추천하기는 나도 나이가 좀 먹었는데 3,000kg까지 나올 이유가 어디 있냐 이래서 아마 7원이나 중국 연용성까지 오고 안 오는 경우도 봤습니다. 어, 지금 어, 이한수 박사나 민택을 같이 작업을 했던 분들이 도대체 몇 마리 달았느냐 물어보니까 한 200여 마리 이상 달았다 하는데 저희들이 가지고 있는 것이 100여 마리 됩니다. 어, 마치고 나눠 드리겠습니다. 매년 어, 자료를 준비하신 우리 곽 대표님께 다시 한번 감사를 드립니다. 그리고 이제 독수리 식당을 워낙 한 곳에 많이 오면 간혹 질병이 생기진 않겠습니다만 위험하기 때문에 2012년부터 분점을 내기 시작했습니다. 그 법대표가 있는 화포 분점이 우리나라 1호 분점, 우포가 2호 분점. 월별로 볼 때는 12월과 1월이 제일 개체수들이 많다는 겁니다. 어, 요것은 작년에 12월 1일 2일부터 해가지고 12마리에서 한 일주일 간격으로 조사했던 자료입니다. 
여기에 보더라도 1월 9일과 이쪽 그룹에서 12월부터 1월 달이 가장 개체수가 많다. 저희들이 생각할 때에 제일 중요한 부분이 이런 것이라고 생각이 들었습니다. 뭐냐면 어, 몽골의 독수리들은 중국을 거치고 북한을 거치고 한국을 찾아옵니다. 몽골은, 몽골은 독수리들의 태어난 곳이지만 고승에 오는 독수리들은 어린 친구들입니다. 저희 고성군은 어린 친구들을 버리지 않으며 살아갈 수 없기 때문에 고성군과 고성군분들과 또 여기에 함께하는 한국에서 오신 분들은 다 같이 노래하고 있습니다. <목소리> 어, 무슨 몽골의 독수리를 사랑하는 사람들은 꿈이 있습니다. 그 꿈은 뭐냐면 어, 국가가 할수 없는 우리 민간인들이 남과 북을 북의 교류를 위해서 열심히 노력하고 있습니다. 올해의 꿈은 탈진된 친구를 구해서 건강검진을 하고 나서 두 마리 같으면 한 친구한테는 평화라는 이름을 붙이고 싶고 또한 친구한테는 통일이라는 이름을 붙이고 싶습니다. 이것은 저희들 한국뿐만이 아니라 몽골과도 아주 친밀하게 서로 정보도 교환하면서 또 서로 공유하면서 서로 왕래하면서 독수리를 우리 후손들까지 오랫동안 볼수 있었으면 행복하겠다고 생각을 합니다. 어, A와는 어, 12월 3일 날 방사를 했는데 한 2주 동안은 아무래도 윈텍을 다르니까 조금 불증이 있었는지 한 1, 2주 있다가 밥 먹었고 A2도 마찬가지였습니다. 
어, 오랜 사진이 있어서 여기에 이제 우리 권보 박사님도 나오시고 고성에서 어, 아마 지금 몇 분이 이래서 지금 여기 같이 왔습니다. 바로 예. 이런 네, 고성에서 이제 같이 모기도 주고 그날 비가 내렸던 게 그래서 여기 이 친구는 장현 박사하고 이 친구가 아마 이제 자주 왔던 덴보 동물의 캐니 박사. 我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，我们这里，
네, 여기 설명을 읽으면서 추가할 수 있을까요? 아, 그래서 여기에 고성군이에요. 경남 고성군에서 여기 좀 선생님, 그 다음에 군수님, 그 다음에 몽골 명사, 몽골 언니, 한국 어린이하고 군 같이 그두 두 명을 달아서 이제 날려주는 거죠. 이들은 고성 주변을 날아다니면서 경내 동네 이동 연구를 고성을 떠난 게 작년도 4월 8일에 출발을 합니다. 4월 8일 오전 1시쯤 산청 주변을 지나 기술을 보며 북으로 향했습니다. 고성이는 시간당 약 30에서 50km의 비행 속도로 북산에다가 금산과 오천 사이를 지나 4월 9일 태안, 서산, 남진 일대에서 3일 전에 머물렀습니다. 대산 공단을 지나 다시 힘을 내어 안산 시내 거쳐 4월 11일 출발 당일 서울의 중심인 여의도 오른쪽을 통과하고 파주시를 통과 비행지 부근 여천 제1단골 위를 넘어 북한으로 날아간 지역 자, 자, 여기서 이제 한국에서 이렇게 서해 바다를 향해서 옆으로 착해서 걸어가다가 DMZ 있는 데서 북쪽으로 가요. 자, 사회 바다를 바로 이렇게 바로 이렇게 바로 
4월 27일 토치현에 도착하여 외국골 제르타드를 통과하며 6일 동안 북쪽을 향해 날아갔습니다. 5월 2일 동우중호실에서 몽골과 중국의 국경지대를 넘어 몽골의 최동부 도르도드 평산을 불러 지역의 강도의 지역 몽골인의 고향은 바로 몽골의 동남쪽 아라차르베라 그 몽골이 있으면 여기가 이제 아까 고성이라고 몽골이는 이쪽에 네, 지금 와 있는 겁니다. 그 지역을 동서로 500km, 남북으로 450km를 날아다니며 활동했습니다. 한편 경남 고성군은 지난 8월 13일 독수리 조사팀을 고성리와 몽골의 몽골 내 활동 상황을 평사하기 위해 파견했습니다. 19일 새벽 6시 몽골에서 울란바 타르시를 떠나 우선 고성이가 있는 목적지 그래서 이 원래는 더더 고비를 가야 되는데 거기를 그코저 코믹스 코로나 때문에 못 가게 그래서 흰 티로 몰래 이렇게 돌아서 넘어서 거기 있는 몽골을 찾아서 간 거예요. 돌도 고기 신제품을 해결해 달렸다. 말 고기 분에게도 유부민을 가져게 되고 또한 그런 음식집을 찾아야 했습니다. 가는 길에 우여곡절이 많았습니다. 그런데 고비에서 5일 동안 큰 비가 많이 내렸어요. 야, 비는 계속 그래서 한 5일 정도를 생각하고 갔었는데 앞뒤로 빠질 수가 없어가지고 거의 열흘 정도를 더 여기서 머물 수밖에 없었던 그런. 제가 빠지는 것은 발발사 이사만은 거쳐지는데 태양이 비가 내렸습니다. 올라서 다리를 지나 5일째 날치 야영에서 그리 멀지 않은 부근에 복수리가 전같이 보였습니다. 아, 바로 맞아. 비가 오고 바람 불고 지금 내가 이걸 하면서 어떤 걸 느꼈냐면요. 우리가 그 식당을 차렸니까 얘들 배고프잖아요. 그러니까 이제 와서 그걸 한점 고기 좀 먹으려고 고성 식당을 오잖아요. 제대로 이 몽골에 와서는 고무도 당당하게 그러니까 그 식당에서는 바로 코앞에서 찍을 수가 있어. 근데 이거는 한 100m, 200m에서 차에서 밀리면 그냥 날아가요. 그래가지고 이 야외에 나가면은 이 짐승들이 예, 우리 한국에서 바로 정기 식당에서도 찍잖아요. 여기는 그런 기가 좀 쉽지가 않아요. 야성이 그래도 살아있는 거죠. 여기도 제가 너무 빨라. 그때 사방 스타가 이렇게 살고 있습니다. 사방 스타가 이렇게 남들 미치고 있는 나가 기분이 어딘 이 말씀하시는 게 이제 너무 빨리 미쳐 가지고 미쳐 가지고. 그래서 요 주변에 과연 다양한 공유사람과 이렇게 과연 둥지가 어디 있을까 하고 여기저기 물어봤더니 이렇게 네, 작은 데다가 둥지를 친 거예요. 소재가 없어. 나무 소재가 없어. 그러니까 이게 철에 철에 아이언 아이언 근데 이게 좀 이상해요 왜냐면 이걸 아까 안 보이는 거였는데 근데 이거는 몽골이를 찾아서 
중국하고 저기 중국하고 몽골하고 국경지대 에 전파가 안 잡혀서 근데 우리가 좀 찾아가는 거는 아까 인공수 추적 장치에 궤적이 오늘날 어디쯤에 있다 내일 있다는 걸 아는데 4월 달인가 그때 한 5월 달인가 그때는 완전히 그 궤적이 없어요. 그래서 그 마지막 있던 궤적이 몇달 전에 거를 한번 혹시나 있을까? 그럼 죽었으면 이걸 찾아야 되고 그러려고 갔는데. 이 궤적이 없, 그, 없고 그 현장에 이 뒷도가 찾아는 데 없어요. 그리고 우리가 중국 국경지대라 우영합니다 하면서 빠졌어요. 근데 나중에 알고 보니까 얘가 살아 있었고 나중에 남아있는 그런 장면을 그 다음에 이제 보는 거예요. 나중에 뭐 하시는 것을 기대하면서 
하니까 먹을 게 아무것도 없는 거예요. 배가 고파서 아까 말한 저 DMZ를 넘어서 갔다 가 보니까 거기 먹을 게또 없어. 그래서 다시 내려오는 경우가 이제 이 경우입니다. 아, 근데 고성에는 어떻게 했냐면 아까 추적 장치를 달았을 때는 고성에다 달아줬거든요. 나중에 알고 보니까 우리 저기 박성국 선생님은 헛고청 그 노무현 대통령 바로 거기 그 고향 바로 그 헛고천에서 겨울나기를 이 고성이가 했습니다. 그러니까 고성에는 안 갔어요. 고성이는. 그래서 이제 이렇게 해가지고 일단은 근데 얘들이 잠을 자는 곳이 바로 바로 고성의 천왕산에서도 잠으로 따뜻한 자신과 많은 부분이 여기서 다 이렇게 승천이 들어갑니다. 그렇게 되면 이제 천왕산 그 숙제를 찾는 거예요. 다른 독수리들은 주변의 다른 산들을 찾기도 하지요. 산속의 큰 나뭇가지의 장자리는 아무래도 산적을 피하는 데는 딱 간섭맞춤이죠. 아침 8시에서 9시 중에 하늘의 공기는 따뜻해지고 밤추위에 얼었던 독수리들도 몸과 날개를 풀기 시작합니다. 독수리들은 장자리를 떠난 허비 천왕산으로 위해서 저렇게 있다가 이제 아까 말한 어 고성의 그 대규모 독수리 식당 사스 레스토랑 사스 레스토랑을 가는 거예요. 세상에서 가장 큰 독수리 식당입니다. 이게 전 세계에서 가장 큰 가장 큰 독수리 식당 사스 레스토랑. 고성 독수리 식당은 주인과 주인의 이기에까지 잡던 독수리들에게는 독수리 식당 안될수 없습니다. 고성군은 한 주에 다섯 번씩 먹이주기를 하죠. 독수리가 부지런하기만 하면 문주림에 빠지지는 않겠지요. 고성, 독수리 식당의 다른 지역인 김해, 오포, 울산, 거제 등도 독수리 식당을 운영하니 독수리들에게는 천국이 아닐 수 없습니다. 고성이와 몽골이는 다중이 이 식당의 단골 손님일 뿐만 아니라 한 문강의 이동 경로 조사 연구에 함께 힘을 실어준 동료이기도 합니다. 긴 여행 끝에 너의나기 메카인 고성을 다시 찾은 몽골이와 고성이에게 박수를 보냅니다. 저기 쉽게 말해서 어, 몽골이하고 고성이는 단순하게 북한함을 갔다 온 거, 어, 저, 저 몽, 몽골 가고 한국을 왔고 또 한국에서 북, 몽골을 갔다 왔잖아요. 그러면서 얘들은 등에다 뭘 달았죠? 우리가 연구로 이동 경로를 그 알기 위해서 등을 달아줬기 때문에 얘들도 우리의 연구원이에요. 아까 말해서 고성에서 이동 경로를 찾기 위해서 한이 친구가 그런 역할을 해줬고서 너무나 고맙고 아직도 살아있고 다시 또 몽골에 와 있는데 몽골이는 굉장히 북쪽에 그러니까 흡수을 해서 이쪽에 와서 지금 활동을 하고 있고요. 이 얘는 지금 어디 있냐면 아까 말했듯이 그 그렇게 거기 예 거기에 지금 활동을 하고 있습니다. 그래서 이, 이 몽골이가 굶어 죽지 않고 아까도 다섯 번이라는데 일주일에 여섯 번을 독수리들을 먹여줘요. 그래서 작년에는 또는 올해 겨울 겨울에는 굶어서 죽은 거가 한 마리도 없었습니다. 그래서 이 고성분들이나 지금 여러 어, 독수리에 대한 관심이 많으신 그런 분들에게 너무 고맙다는 말씀을 드리고 여러분도 또 이걸 봐줘서 고맙습니다. 
하나 웃으면서 하겠습니다 하나 둘셋 다섯 손 그냥 마음 들으세요 마지막 마지막에 손 붙잡아 얘기했어 다시 제대로 붙잡아 듣고 오케이 어떠셨지?